Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and today we're going to be answering the age-old question of how many thrusters does it take to break the sound barrier in Trail Makers. Now, when they first introduced the sound barrier into the game, I made a video on it, and that was a long, long, long time ago. The game has come a long way since then. Aerodynamics have been updated. Thrusters have been updated. All kinds of stuff have been updated. So we're gonna revisit the sound barrier, but we're gonna take a little bit more of a uh, methodical approach to it and actually try to figure out how many thrusters you need. Now, I was thinking about it, and I think for the sake of simplicity and consistency, I'm gonna say we're only gonna use Dragon Jet Engines for this one. So the real question is how many Dragon Jet Engines does it take? There's potential that we could do it with fewer raw jet engines, but they weigh so much more and they take up so much more space and they go in bursts that it's just going to be a really inconvenient uh, jet engine to use. So we're going to go with dragon engines. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build basically a rocket. We're going to do this vertically as opposed to in the other video where we did it horizontally. I'm going to create as aerodynamic of a rocket as I can. So let's compare and contrast some seats here. So it looks like it's going to read this as the front. I'm thinking the diving bell. Oh, well, we have an issue with the diving bell. The diving bell has a lot more points of contact when it comes to wind resistance. See, this only has six, but this has 16. Wow, that is a huge difference. So even though this is more aerodynamic as far as how it disperses the air, you can see the green dip, the differences of the green shade. This has a slightly more drag per block, but this has just way more blocks. So I'm pretty sure that the diving bell is going to be worse for that. So by the looks of it, this is going to be our best option. However, the sound barrier is roughly 1200 kilometers an hour. And I don't think we're going to get to 12 kilometer, 1200 kilometers an hour very easily if we just have a single line of thrusters going like that. So I think it's going to be more efficient. We're going to get more bang for our buck if we have them like this. So this is going to definitely uh, contribute to the shape of our vehicle when it comes to trying to disperse the air around it. All right, so I'm going to try to mold this to make it a little bit more aerodynamic and see what we can do. All right, so this is what I got so far. Big problems right now are I have no tail fins for drag. So this is probably not going to stay straight. But uh, as you can see, as far as aerodynamic goes, any point of resistance should give us an ideal drag reduction up in the front here. So we're going to start with 16 thrusters right now, see what happens, and uh, hope that this could get us somewhere good. And that's a great start, isn't it? Come on. Don't real re is that what you're gonna do to me every single time? Are you kidding me? All right, apparently we're gonna have to put some type of base behind this. This actually might give us a good opportunity to put some like a tail fin or something in the back here. Okay, let's see if that might make us rotate, but that might not be a terrible thing. But let's see if it helps us out here. All right, they're all they're all intact. But let's see what happens. Okay, okay, not too bad. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that speed. We're approaching 500. Look at this trajectory, too. This feels kind of legit. <laughs> All right, so we broke 500. We're almost halfway there. When we start coming back down, we actually get close to halfway there. So this is going good. Good start so far. That is 16 thrusters. So why don't we double it since we're about half speed? I know it's not going to come out to being double the speed with double the thrusters, but um, I think that's just going to be an easy way to keep track of how many thrusters we're using. Okay, so here we should have 32 thrusters. We are in the Space League with 96 cores. Okay, so I think this is going to get us up to like maybe nine, eight or 900. I don't know. The drag, I, I don't really know how it's going to work, but let's just see what happens. All right, the trajectory is looking pretty good. Oh boy. Oh wow. This is like not better. That concerns me. I am very concerned suddenly. This is like, it feels almost worse because of the weight. But we're adding thrusts, so what are we to do? All right, I guess we're gonna add more thrusters and see what happens. Let's go from 32 to 64. All right, here we go. 64 thrusters. And we got to... Uh-oh, uh-oh, go, 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 go. Oh, it's wobbly. 
It is so wobbly. How is this going to compare? This is weird. This is weird. We keep doubling the thrust and not improving on our speed. And I don't, I can't really think of a way to make ourselves more aerodynamic. Like the air should be going all the way around us. And that's what the arrows tell us too. You know what, maybe, maybe when we start going back down to the ground, we, maybe we can break the sound barrier with gravity. This amount of thrust and not fighting gravity. Here we go, here we go. We're heading back down. We've gone up to space. Now we're gonna break the sound barrier, heading back into orbit. No, we're not. We're barely, we're going like straight down now and we're barely approaching. We just broke 700. Hmm, here we go. Here we go, into the water. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was quick. That water showed no resistance. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I wanna do an experiment. I wanna see, this is 64 dragon thrusters. Let's put 64 raw jet engines and see if that gets us at a faster speed than like 600. Now I have a lot of doubts about this working just because of how heavy these things are and they're not gonna give us a consistent thrust either. What I'm also gonna do this time around is I'm gonna use the connector blocks more sparingly. I'm just gonna use one flat connector per uh, side. So let's see how 64 of the raw engines compare to 64. Holy, okay, okay, little spurts. All right, we're gaining each time though. Uh oh, oh no, 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 no. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Oh, look at that. That is not good at all. Oh, ooh. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Every so often we get on a nice straight trajectory and we break almost up to 800 and then it just gets ruined. Absolutely ruined. But this one so far has had a better top speed, but way, way, way less reliable. All right, so I'm gonna save this version as well. And you know what, actually, let's just double it. We haven't, we haven't experimented with doubling this to see the difference in speed. Okay, here we go. 128 raw jet engines. Let us see if this thing is gonna be able to get any faster. Oh, get in, get in, get in. No! No! I'm starting to question a lot of my decisions for this video. Oh boy, all right, here we go. Oh no, it is so unstable. This is amazing. This is the most amazing thing I've ever done. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at it go. It's so, why is it so floppy? Why, like, what are you made of? You're made of just solid parts. Why do you flop like this? Oh, this is so like, we're not even breaking 300 with this. All right, so that's an issue. Definitely an issue. It's like a noodle. We've got a rocket noodle. We've invented the rocket noodle. Entertainment purposes only. This is not, Elon Musk, I know you're impressed, but do not contact me, they're not. This is for entertainment purposes only, not for use in any legitimate space expeditions or going to Mars or anything like that. Oh, I love it though. <laughs> it is so satisfying for some reason to look at. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and there we go. All right, so that definitely makes this a lot harder. It makes it a lot more difficult to get to the sound barrier if you can't create a rocket ship that doesn't bend. We're breaking into like new Trailmakers territory that I am just not that familiar with. The Dragon engines feel much more stable because they take up so much less space, but we're getting no return on increasing the amount of power, unfortunately. Hold on. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's try something here. I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete all the unnecessary parts. Okay, so I got rid of a lot of the useless connectors. Now there's just one row of connectors. I'm hoping that's not going to throw the weight off too much. Um, but it should make us a lot lighter and also unable to take off, apparently. What? Airborne. Well, hold on. What? What is going on? Oh, no. We detached the top. I'm sorry. 
No, come back. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can get even faster. Oh, yeah. It's definitely affecting our weight. Maybe I should just cut it in half instead. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 800. 900. Huge progress. But it's still... It's way uneven. Okay. All right. That's interesting. They definitely had an impact. Those connector blocks. Perhaps... Perhaps there's something else that we can do here. Hold on a second. So having them on one side like this, just the single one, clearly is hurting us. So what I'm thinking about doing is copy and pasting and, uh, it to be equal on the opposite side. So kind of diagonal like that. But then it seems like they might have an effect on drag. So what if I actually block a each of these rows like that with some aerodynamics? Okay, so here is the new solution. Let's see if this works. All right, we were at 900 something before. We didn't break a thousand, I don't think, but let's see what happens here. All right, come on, stay straight. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Hmm, there is more drag. 800. Come on. Come on. No, 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 we're slowing down a lot. This isn't gonna keep going. 900. All right, but maybe when we can start going with gravity, we'll see where we get. We are so close. We are so close. And I'm wondering now with this new method with less drag, if increasing thrust, a thousand, if increasing thrust will have better returns, less diminishment over time, over uh, the amount of mass that we're adding. All right, so we are very, very close now. We broke a thousand. We are not at 1100. We need to get to 1200. So now I'm going to double this up again. This is 64. So let's go for 128 of these guys and see just what might happen. The big issue I'm gonna see with this is the rigidity is going to be massively compromised. Okay, 128. I hope I, I, hope I connected everything correctly. 128 dragon engines. Let's see. Oh no, we're doing the snake again. Oh, uh, oh! Uh. Right, come on, stay steady, stay. Oh, well, this is even worse. This is even worse than the uh, than the raw ones. Okay, so clearly, clearly we've reached a, a point in which we've uh, sacrificed stability too too far. We've gone too far. So it seems like there's actually going to be some type of bell curve of acceptable thruster amounts. Too few thrusters, and you're not going to break this the sound barrier. You add more and more thrusters, you get closer and closer to the sound barrier, and then once you start adding too many thrusters, you're going to get further and further away from the sound barrier. Okay, so if 128 is too much, what's halfway in between? 64 plus 32, 96? So let's remove 32 of them. All right, so now we should have 96 dragon thrusters. Let's see if this is any more stable. It, it's like an arrow. <laughs> like the, the wobble that an arrow does when you shoot it off. Okay. Okay, uh, not great. Definitely not great. It's definitely worse still. Not worse than the previous one, but it's worse than 64. So I'm gonna remove four layers at a time and see if we can reach a sweet spot. So this is 96 minus 16 should be 80. So let's see what 80 thrusters is like. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. It's not wobbling too much at all. 600, 700. Uh-oh, oh no! Oh, that is a crucial moment right there where it starts to go horizontal. If it can maintain relative, like a, a relatively rigid shape, then we can start going with gravity and gaining even more speed. That's how we broke a thousand before, but now once it starts going sideways, it just bends. I'm gonna do two layers at a time now. So now we got 72. See if this is better than 64. All right, this is feeling good so far. It's actually really straight. We broke 800 and we're not turning. Like we're still going straight up. All right, we may have to, at some point, we may have to release the thrust so that we can start falling. We made it to the edge of the map, apparently. Oh, here we go. 
we're at more of a sideways angle, this might be a good thing. This might be a good thing. Because we went too straight last time. We weren't able to break the sound barrier fighting gravity, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to break the sound barrier of falling with gravity and our thrust. But this thing stay- why does this stay straighter than 64? Alright, I'm gonna release the thrust for now. We're gonna let ourselves fall a little bit, point down towards the ground, and hope that we'll be able to gain enough thrust pointing downwards that we can uh, break the sound barrier. Right, here we go. There we go. Come on, go, go, go. Why is my th Oh, no. We lost stability. I don't know what happened there, but our thrusters I, are visually, they're doing a weird smoke thing as if they were raw engines. That's really weird, but like if you look at the actual thrust, it stays on the whole time. Okay, so something went wonky there, but so far this design seems incapable of breaking the sound barrier. So I'm actually gonna do an experiment here again. I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna save this right now, but I'm gonna get rid of one of the sides of connectors. So we just have the single side again, and I'm actually gonna be betting on having a slightly offset weight so that we can actually curve gradually and then end up going down again. All right, so let's see how this feels. Do we have our parts? Do we have all of our tails? We don't. We lost one. You know what? We'll deal with it. We'll see what happens. 800. Oh no, we're drifting. We're drifting. Drifting isn't good. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going up and we're over a thousand. This is a new record. If we can go down 1100, we are so close. If we can get downwards, we can break the, we can break the sound barrier. If we just go with gravity, <gasps> we're turning. We're starting to turn down. Yes, we're increasing. Go, 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 go. Here it comes. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? We were about to break it. We were about to break it and it reset us. We got it. I think we got this. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do this. Man, getting rid of those connectors made a huge difference. All right. We are more horizontal now. This could be a good thing. Here we go, here we go. 1100, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sound barrier? Anyone? Sound there it is! We've done it! We broke the sound barrier with 72 thrusters? What was it? Was it 72? I gotta recount them. I figure where we're at. We're at 1300 now. How fast? 1334 was the max speed that I saw. Let's count up the thrusters, see how many it took us to get to break the sound barrier. 72. It is 72 thrusters that it took us to break the sound barrier. I am so happy that that happened. So this was my personal approach to attempting to break the sound barrier. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways to do it. Some ways that might be easier and more efficient. If you know any of those ways, uh, why don't you comment down below so we can see what kind of variety of strategies people have used. So leave a like for breaking the sound barrier. And if you missed the first episode of breaking the sound barrier, and man, that was a glitchy, glitchy episode. But it's one of my more popular videos for some reason, despite the camera quality just, just being completely overrun by the game resources required to do that video. So you can click here for that. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.